Hey guys, what's up? So today I finally faced my fears and um, decided to try to remove some stuck flywheel bolts on um, an old Subaru motor that I'm pulling apart. So I got four out of the eight out previously with um, the socket. It's actually a, a Torx, um, they call it a T50 plus. It's like a T50, but a little bigger. And I guess the plus um, socket itself is hardened. So it's good for using the impact. So anyway, I got four of them out. There were four stuck. I stripped like two or three of the, um, the splines for the Torx head out of the bolts for the other um, the other ones that were stuck. So there's a few ways you can try to remove bolts like this. I find, I found one way that works almost perfectly. So here it is. This is a horrible sight. Probably looks like a murder to some of you. Um, you know, you might have to go cry after seeing this disgusting mess. I mean, I think I might, especially with everything open here. But anyway, I'm just taking this whole thing apart, splitting the halves, um, deciding if I want to build it or not. But either way, it's going to get completely cleaned, so I'm not too concerned about all this stuff. But this, not fun. This was a mess. I have done, um, let's see, two other ones, actually. So the I replaced the flywheel on my Subaru. And then <clears throat> I did it on another one just like my wagon that I bought and sold and flipped. But no problems with either of those getting the bolts out. So I don't know if this was removed at one point or something, but these were in there tight, super tight. Like, it's insane. But um, you might be used to the standard way of trying to remove bolts via drilling them out. So I got everything up over here to drill them out. And I actually did the one, and it took forever. Um, I don't know if my bits are just not good. They're pretty much new, but I don't know if they're not sharp. or I mean, they're har from Harbor Freight, so, I mean, that could be the problem itself. So, as you can see, just drill through. I started with a really small drill bit. I had them lined up here, but started small and just kept going up, stepping up to bigger ones. But once I got it drilled out, for like, you know, I got it pretty good. Um, I just kind of smacked on it with a hammer and a chisel from the side. It was this one. And I ended up, I was able to just kind of, it just broke loose, whatever was still on there. So that worked. So then this one, I started drilling and drilling and Actually, I started using a step bit, which is another Harbor Freight special, and it works really well. It cuts better than the other bits for some reason. Be the one, actually. Yeah, this is the one that, sorry, that I drilled a little bit, and this had the, the, um, the splines good enough that I could get the impact on it, and it came right out. Even though I tried that many times in the past, I tried a breaker bar and stuff. So, that's that. Um, this one I just took out was with this guy. And to get this in there, I had to cut out the part that was around here. It's right here. It's right here. So this guy was in here. So I couldn't get much in there, so I cut it out, which is what created this horrible mess. But this works like a dream. So I'm gonna show you how it works on this one here. My last one to get out so I can get this flywheel off. So as you can see, um, it's uh, it's a bolt extractor for the bolt head, and I have a small kit here. It's really nice. I got it at Home Depot, I think. I needed it originally to remove some cam um, cam pulley bolts that actually were on the same motor when it was all together. It was the same thing. Uh, the inside was an Allen, like an Allen um, key, I guess, or head or whatever and stripped that out, broke a couple sockets. So I went to this and it works perfectly. So <clears throat> this is the same size actually, just the Torx. So it's, it works by tap it on here with a hammer. And then these flutes, I guess you call them, are reversed. So it's like reverse thread almost. So 
when you go backwards with it to try to back it out. So it's kind of like cone shaped almost. It's angled so that when you um, get a bolt on here, um, the more you torque it, the more the teeth want to dig in, which actually brings it, um, it brings this closer and just tightens. I don't know how to explain it, but it's amazing. So I'll show you how it works. So I tap it on a little bit. Try to keep it as straight as you can. And if it's not on well enough, it'll slip off. So we don't want that to happen. So it's on there pretty tight. Now I'm going to set you up so you can watch the rest. Alright. Just hold it. So, let's see. I've got a socket that fits the outside here. You otherwise could use a 3 8 inch drive, but that's too small and I don't want to risk breaking an adapter or something. Or my ratchet wrench. So this is actually a 1 inch socket. It fits perfectly on there. It was a 12 point, so a 6 point would be more ideal, but I don't have any offhand. Um, so now I use my breaker bar and I have the flywheel um, like pinned up here so that I can't turn. This would probably be easier if I had the whole engine flopped over so I'd be working with gravity but it's not how I'm doing it. So. Now you just reverse it out. It should break free. Just like that. Perfect. And you can get your impact on there and get it out a little quicker, but that's all it took. It's amazing. So here it is. You can see how it's um, it's almost flush with the socket thing, but it worked perfectly. So now I can finally get this flywheel off. Big heavy mess. Okay. Don't kill yourself with that. Like I almost did. So let me bring you around here. Here's the aftermath. So, um, don't know what that is, but this is the one that I was drilling into and stuff. Oh, look at that. Amazing. I'm getting rid of this crank too, so I wasn't concerned about about damaging that. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean that's all it is. And you can stick this in the vise and get it out. Um, I got it off finally, but here she is. The socket itself really doesn't get damaged too much. I mean, this is the fourth or fifth time I'm using it. So it's pretty impressive. Really good tool. Definitely a must-have from Irwin. Um, actually, I think I got it at Advanced Auto or something. But anyway, you can probably get a whole kit. But this has the most common sizes needed. And so far, this is the only one I've needed. So it's pretty sweet. So guys, if you ever have a problem with a bolt that... I mean, probably typically going to be an Allen or a Torx that you can't get something else on the outside. Um, I mean, I guess you could strip off... Um, a normal bolt head but I mean, you shouldn't do that if you're using a six point socket so anyway this is an excellent tool if you need to remove some bolts like this specifically if you're working on a subaru and you can't get the cam bolts out for the cam pulleys um this is the way to go i mean i even if i ever do it again i'm gonna use this right away i'm not even gonna try to use the um the allen key because it's just it's a waste of time. They're on there so tight that, um, and this breaks it loose right away. So, I mean, the good thing is if you use this, so you break it loose with this and you can reuse the bolt then. Um, but if you would strip it out on the inside, you can't reuse the bolt. Um, you know, when you go back to put it, put it back together. So you can tighten it down with the Allen key because it actually doesn't get torqued down too hard, but just the way that it's designed, it's super tight to get off. So this is the way to go. 
Um, if you have any questions, suggestions, let me know. You can reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook. Um, you can comment here. Subscribe if you want to learn some more or if you just want to see some cool stuff. I'm uh, definitely going to be making more videos soon and doing some more fun things finally. So it's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. And like I said, reach out if you have anything. Thank you.